What is up, comic community, and welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark. I'm here to give you my uh, pool list for March 3rd, 2021. So before we do, I want to point out I'm kind of sad. I have seen this happen to a lot of people. I never expected it to happen to me, but I'm having a light week. There's still some great stuff coming out, just not as much as usual. So before we take a look at it, check this out. Before we jump into it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. That way you're notified anytime future content drops. You don't want to miss out. Got a lot of fun stuff coming up. So let's get right into it. Future State has ended. We're on to the next big thing at DC, and a big thing is it. We have Infinite Frontier Issue Zero coming out. This will be laying the groundwork for the upcoming new formatted Omniverse for DC Comics. And what that means is that everything that has ever happened in DC Comics all the way from the start of Action Comics issue one in 1938 with the first appearance of Superman till today is 100% canon, has happened, and it does matter. So I'm really looking forward to this and seeing how they're going to just fill everything in. They have so much content, so much potential to work from. I'm looking forward to seeing the future state characters that were really exciting be brought into the main continuity. I'm excited to see the JSA is back. There's just so much cool stuff going on, and this book has a lot to offer. It's an oversized uh, one-shot, I think. It might do more. Uh, I'm really not 100% sure on that, but I do know that there's a lot of talent on this one title. We have Snyder, Johns, Williamson, Tynan, Cloonan, so many great writers all came together just to let us know where our heroes and villains are going to be starting off going forward from here. So if you're not a big DC person or if you just never knew where to jump in, here's your chance. If you weren't a fan of what they were doing before, here's your chance to try them out again because we have a big shakeup with different writers on different titles and really just to see where they can shine now. But uh, I'm just really looking forward to this. Uh, there's just nothing like this has been done before. And uh, I think this is what DC really needed. Just a really, uh, just kind of a fresh kick in the butt to get things moving forward in a better direction. And we have it right here. So moving forward from the Infinite Frontier number zero, getting right into it, we have Batman 106. So James Tynan is returning to this title. He's done really cool things with Batman up to this point with the introduction of Punchline, Clown Hunter. Not a big fan of Ghostmaker, but that story just really felt rushed to me, and he was in a time crunch getting into Future State. But it looks like Scarecrow is going to be popping up, and I'm excited to see how Tynan handles Scarecrow because uh, he's not really that formidable of a villain if you ask me. Batman's obviously smarter than him. He uses fear toxins. Batman's the master of fear. So it just seems like everything about him is just to be beaten by Batman. But maybe Tynan can take it from a different angle that we haven't seen explored before. He's an amazing writer. I don't necessarily think he shines on Batman, but the other titles he's working on, like Something is Killing the Children or The Department of Truth, are just phenomenal. But I am hanging on, checking it out. And we also see that structured uh, backup story that they experimented in with in Future State happening with Batman right here. So Robin will be a backup feature in this title, and it'll be following Damien. And if you're keeping up with Detective Comics going into all of this, you'll know that Damien has a lot of stuff going on. Detective Comics has been a consistently solid book, in my opinion, better than the Bat title has been for a while. But that's just me. And uh, I am excited to see what Damien's up to. Like I said, a lot going on with him. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, another one that's coming out I'm really pumped for is Swamp Thing, issue number one by Rom V. Now, for me, I got a real introduction to who Rom V was during Future State. He wrote Swamp Thing, Catwoman, Justice League Dark. All three of those titles were amazing. Like when the weeks when Catwoman dropped, Catwoman, not a big deal title that everyone's picking up, but it outshined most every other book that came out that week. He knows how to take a character, pace them properly, and write them amazing. And uh, he kind of like felt like he was channeling Alan Moore in his Swamp Thing run while still keeping it his own. His level of attention to detail and research he puts into writing a good book just blew my mind. So I can't wait for this one. And I do believe we're getting a new avatar of the green. I don't think it's Alec Holland. I'm trying to avoid spoilers, so I don't really read the solicitations for most of these books. But I'm, I'm really pumped for this. I highly recommend checking it out if you've ever been a fan of Swamp Thing as this writer is fit for him. Another one that I'm extremely excited for is Crime Syndicate number one. So this is going to be a six-issue limited series, and it's really going to be our first time exploring the multiverse in the Infinite Frontier. This takes place on Earth-3, or at least will be giving us flashbacks to Earth-3 where the Crime Syndicate is from. They're kind of an evil Justice League with Ultraman, Owlman, Power Ring, 
uh, Superwoman, just just exactly what you'd expect in Evil Justice League. But they're really cool. They're awesome. Ten times more dangerous than Homelander is. Ultraman is insane. And even more so than that, Owl Man right there is the one you got to look out for. He's calm, cool, collective, and a complete psycho. But we're supposed to be getting some origin to these characters and the formation of their team. And it's really, really cool stuff. Great characters. I can't wait to see how they're written in the Infinite Frontier. I even remember the uh, first time I read Crisis on Infinite Earth, seeing their uh, demise. It, somehow it even was upsetting. You know, these horrible, horrible characters that spent their life ruling people, spent their last moments alive trying to save their world. I mean, it was, it was just awesome. They're fun characters, man. Villains are always, always enjoyable for me. But uh, we also have from DC Comics, another one I'm pretty excited about is the Suicide Squad number one. So we have this brand new team headed up by Peacemaker, which is really cool because we know we'll be getting him in the Suicide movie by James Gunn, as well as his own standalone HBO Max series, which The Vigilante was also confirmed for. So check out The Vigilante's first appearances. They're really affordable right now. But apparently this team's going to be invading Arkham Asylum to try to get talent and add them onto the new Task Force X team here. So I'm hoping it's the same old antics, just a new team. Uh, I love these hodgepodge teams, and this is one if I've ever seen one. Peacemaker's got such a cool costume design. I'm glad that they keep it true and try and test it to the, its original format there. So I'm really looking forward to that. So that's it for the DC for me. Next up from Boom Studios, and I'm sure this is on everyone's pool list, we have Berserker number one. And this is the one by Matt Kent and co-written by Keanu Reeves himself. As you see, the character design is even after Keanu himself. So in my opinion, this is kind of just like a, a rehashing and retelling of like the ultimate, uh, the, the ultimate soldier He's just the eternal warrior. I'm sorry. And uh, so he's just an immortal god, half god, demigod, who knows. But uh, he can't die. He's been around forever. He's working for government agencies, doing those missions that nobody else wants to do or is capable of for stuff in return. But I still think it's going to be fun. Boom Studios has not let me down at all. And they've been killing it. Just absolutely killing it with amazing content. And I don't think this will be any different. So that's all that I have guaranteed on my pool box. There are some other cool stuff coming out. And as always, I'd like to point out the King of Black tie-ins. We have Gwynnum versus Carnage, number three, as well as the Thunderbolts, number three. We also have Wiccan and Hulkling, number one, as well as Captain America, number one. And they're also doing a King of Black handbook, kind of profiling symbiote characters you might want to check out. For the Star Wars fan, we have Star Wars The High Republic, number three, and Star Wars High Republic Adventures, number two. And I think this is really cool because you have Marvel doing a book as well as IDW. This is a huge undertaking that they're doing with this High Republic stuff. It's in so many different forms of media and across the board. They're really expanding this early era Star Wars stuff. And it's been specced on really hard because you get a lot of first appearances, a lot of characters never seen up until this point. So if you're a Star Wars fan, be sure to check it out. And uh, there's one more book I do want to talk about for just a second. It's from Bad Idea. This one I noticed because it seems like the people putting this book out are going into an agreement with comic shop owners and not doing a high print run of this stuff where the comic shops can only sell them in store one per person. And they have to sign all kinds of agreements and legal stuff on whatever level going into it. But this looks like the first book for that that's coming out. It's called ENIAC number one. And I believe it's the first book that uh, this is the first one I've noticed coming out yet. But it caught my attention with this very Cronenberg esque cover. And uh, apparently ENIAC stands for, I have it written down here, Electromagnetic Numeral Integrator and Computer. So this is like going back to the days of uh, building the atomic bomb, the ultimate weapon. There are other projects being worked on as well. And one was this AI system. And it obviously is a twisted horror tale. I, uh, my LCS is not getting these. I wish they were. I would love to pick one up and see what it's all about. And uh, if you're, you might want to check with your local comic shop, see if they're getting it, if, they're able, if they were able to have participated in this. Because it's not a wide range uh, dist distributed thing. So if your LCS is one that is doing it, you're a lucky person and take advantage of it. Don't miss out. So there's some other definite stuff coming out. Sensational Wonder Woman celebrating 80 years of Wonder Woman. The new Avengers, Firepower number nine, which used to be on my list, but I did drop that one. It wasn't delivering for me personally. It's an enjoyable story, but I kept being frustrated at the end of every issue that they were not delivering hardly any content at all. It just felt like it was just a, a gimmick book to me. That uh, first trade paperback prequel was amazing. And after that, we're nine issues in and haven't gotten a single complete story out of it yet. It's just, it's like just stuck in the mud with your foot on the gas. It makes no sense to me at all. But I will be keeping up with the story some way or another, but I'm not invested in picking it up anymore. And uh, you also have Fear Case, Sea of Sorrows, all kinds of great stuff coming out. So be sure to double check those shelves. You don't want to miss out on anything. 
And if I've missed out on anything you think I should be reading and shouldn't be missing, drop a comment. Let me know. And also, let me know what you're picking up. What are you looking forward to out of this list right here? If you want to know what my top pick out of this list is, go to the Comic Vet, subscribe to his channel. Every Sunday uh, video with me and him drops where we both give our top pick and why. So be sure to give him a subscribe. Go support him. This is an amazing community. Help, uh, help him out. Help me help you kind of thing. And it's a great channel. He does awesome content. He does a mail call Monday unboxings. We do the uh, two two cool guys, two hot picks every Sunday, as well as he has his uh, uh, new comic book day haul videos. So great guy. And I also want to give a big thank you to Paul and Donna at the Augusta Book Exchange. They are the keepers of my comics, the guardians of my pool box. They always make sure everything that I'm looking for is safe, secure, ready, and waiting on me whenever I get there. And you will find no better customer service anywhere. They are amazing people, and you can find them on Facebook. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on these books, reading them, and talking about it with everyone later. But until then, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.